Yeah, I, I, I'm straight from rehab, nigga. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Didn't you say a little bit about why ATI shouldn't have been in rehab and then now you're in rehab? Correct me, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, I'm did wrong. you hear that this nigga was walking around naked and fucking beat up? <laughs> what the actual? That to what be the honest? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take some accountability. Right. You know, I haven't been really moving correctly. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, I'm banned. <laughs> and have the clubs here in CVD. <laughs> she prayed for me once. I remember I came to her. What? She did what? She prayed for me. Prayed? Yeah. Like, Heavenly Father, yeah, like, we're I here was today. Crying and shit. I don't know what the fuck I was going through. Guy, <laughs> dog, I'm a crazy right motherfucker. Yeah. Who else wasn't you good with? Uh, the president. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <I'm> <laughs> this is only going to happen once, right? Like, you can repeat this video, but. Me being here with you, it's not gonna be forever. I'm now you better know we got the flavor, that's juice. Got all the flavors in the best. Juice. Be the rest of the world. What's going on? It's your boy TK, and you tune in to the hottest. This is the Juice 2.0, and I appreciate you so much for stopping by, for clicking subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. But if you haven't subscribed, Hey, do the right thing, do the right thing. Click the like button, the notification button, do the whole thing. Share with everybody so they know that we've got the hottest content in B-Dub. We're sitting over here at Skyview Lounge, obviously courtesy of the amazing people, my friends, my partners at Skyview Lounge, situated in CBD opposite the Fields Mall. For every hot meal that you want to have, for every hot drink, every hot situation that you want to have over a weekend, you come over here at Skyview Lounge and you have it with your friends, and tell everybody about it as well. So thank you so much. Big appreciation, bottom of my heart, deep down somewhere in my bones, going out to Sky View Lounge. Repeat after me, Sky View Lounge. There it is. I'm sitting over here with one of the hottest artists in B-Dub. He's a legendary dude in his own right. You could call him Kanye West when it comes to speaking his, <laughs> when it comes to speaking his mind with no fear or favor. You know what I mean? But you couldn't deny one thing. He's super talented, although he's controversial. Very, very talented. I need you to put your hands together for Bria. Lord Summer. Yeah. Aussie freaking Teddy. <laughs> yeah. He's here in the building to have yes, a chat sir. about all things happening. New project, May Day, eighth studio project. This dude has been working, but I'm happy to be sitting down with him and have a chat about all of that and so much more. So put your hands together. And big applause for Ozzy F. Teddy. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what's up? What's, what's up, Teddy? What's up, what's up, my man? Yeah. How you doing, Ozzy? <laughs> uh, for sure, man. It's all good. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm in shape, you know, like album mode, man, you know? Album Focused, mode. Focused, yeah. 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 I love that. You know what? I ask people, like, how are you doing genuinely nowadays? Because you never know what a nigga is going through, you right. know? Right, right. We just lost... Uh, uh, we just lost DJ, DJ Wale. DJ Wale. Um, yeah, man, I mean... It's crazy because, like, uh, you know, especially creatives. Yeah. Um. You know, we 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 bottle up a lot of things. Uh, yeah. And uh, we go through a lot, man. Uh, mentally, it's crazy out here. I mean, I also just came off an old deal. You know. You came my, out of what? Yeah, I, I I'm straight from rehab, nigga. You know. <laughs> I, I just came. I just came out the rehab. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. Well, look, I have I have a little bit of a structure here, right, right. on my phone. Yeah. But conversations are conversations. Yes, they can sir. go south, they can go north, yes, sir. whatever yes, sir. it is. So tell me about rehab, man. Why did you decide to go to rehab? Um, you know, man, I think around, you know, the 2020, 20, yeah, around 2020 when the corona hit. Yeah. Too much uh, time in my hands. Right. Uh, stress, you know. We wasn't working out there, you know, started experimenting with shit. Um, <laughs> you know, one, two, one, two became a habit. Couldn't take it anymore. Decided to, you know, just check myself into the rehab. And, yeah. you know, just kind of, because I rehab, ne? Yeah. You know, the outside world is completely closed out. It shut down, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean, there was a well-needed break from the company that I kept. You know, from the drugs themselves, oh, yeah. you know, from the environment, all in all, and just to kind of focus on myself, restructure my energy and, you know, get back to, to me. You know what I'm saying? Man, so yeah. how long was rehab? Yeah, I did it for 30 days. Yeah, it was a 30 month. 30 days. Yeah, I went to uh, SA. 
um, courtesy of the Mabela Foundation. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Mabela Foundation. What's up on Mabela? Yeah, hooked me up. Went out there, private rehab, kicked it, you know, and uh, I'm on the journey. God Over. dang it, man! Didn't you say a little bit about why? ATI shouldn't have been in rehab and then now you're in rehab? Correct me, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm nah. wrong. <laughs> what I said was... <laughs> what I said was... Yeah. No, actually, it was in a song, right? It was in a song, yeah. Yeah, it was a rap song. Look at the little rehab. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so the irony uh, is that now you're in rehab. Yeah, but you know, I wasn't saying nothing. I actually recommend rehab for a lot of my brothers oh, yeah, who are yeah, going through what I went through. You know what I'm saying? I was just, it was like, um, it was just a kick. Like, you know, it's hip hop, man. You I know, so that, I was yeah. just, you know, I was just messing around with him. But, uh, you know, it's a real thing. Like mental health and, you know, Straight substance up. abuse. Straight up. It, it, it's a real thing. And with us, with the business that we're in, yeah. it's everywhere. It's all around us. So, Doc, you know what? Tell, tell you what, I'm happy that you did that. You decided yeah. to do that because a lot of cats, they miss out on the opportunity to go to it and come out fresh and continue with life. For sure. Most of them, they die out before they even check out and Yeah, rehab. because like, because it eats away at you. And if you don't nip it in the bud. You're gone. You're going to wake up and your whole, yeah. you're going to be living in the streets. Yeah. You're going to be sucking dick for, uh, for crack. <laughs> <laughs> Lord freaking summer. <laughs> Yeah, my bad. Dog, you know what? Before we move out, say something to a person who might be struggling with the same situation. All right? Look in the camera and just say something. I know, shit. but uh, you know, the drug, you, you, with, with drug issues? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, with that, uh, I would say, like, sincerely, like, if, if you are going through something like that, like with drugs and everything, yeah. I think it's up to you. Nobody can force you to, to clean up. True story. True story. You know story. what I'm saying? Like, you can't, if, if somebody was to, in my case, if somebody was to snatch me up and take me to rehab against my will, no yeah. matter how much. Wouldn't have worked. Yeah, they, they put in front of me. It wouldn't have worked. It, it has to come from inside of you. If you want to get clean, yeah, you, it's got to come from you. And Straight then up. you go and, you know, Straight you work up. the program. It's yeah. the, the 12 steps uh, narcotics anonymous program. Oh, it's got, it's got steps. It's like that. It's got steps. <laughs> it's got steps. It's actual work. Like when you're at the rehab, it's not like you're just chilling and, you know, just busking all day. No phone, no TV. Um, For 30 you, days? Yeah. You wake up in the morning, you do your duties, you shower, you eat breakfast, you go to class, you work the steps, you go to therapy because some of the problems that, you know, we have... Um, uh, generally, as the youth, uh, fundamentally, they are, they are, they are mental, they're, they're mental, they're mental, they're spiritual, straight up, you know, straight up. they stem from way back. It could yeah, be yeah. like some trauma that we experienced way back in the day or something that we went through that led us to drugs. You see, drugs are not the problem. They're actually the symptom of our problem, our main problem. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Yeah. You know what? People have people have called you smart. People have called you intelligent. Yes, sir. But I never really appreciated until this morning. I mean, not, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> We's on drugs now. <laughs> oh, you ain't no. I mean, hey, until today. I, I got to get checked. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but until today. Yes, sir. Like, I'm, I'm listening. Look, I have an appreciation of you. Yes, sir. And you need to hear this. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I have a deeper appreciation of you. But we'll get to all of that when we're wrapping the show. Yeah, right? yeah, Because I got, yeah. a, I got a lot of things to say to you For as sure. an appreciation of your art, as it, an appreciation of a human being that you are. Yeah. As an appreciation of a spirit being that you are in this, in this platform. Yes, sir. But let's get it back to your family, right? Right. Because I always, you know, when it comes to the Juice 2.0, right? I get the uh, well-known person, celebrity... The Juice 2.0, cool, cool. Uh -huh. But there's a lot that is like surface to it. I always want to get deep into like the actual person that I'm sitting with. For sure. So I say that to say, how's your how's your kid? Yeah. How's the mother of your kid? Tell me about that. And how's uh, your family? Yeah, well, the family, I would say the family is good. You know, we're, we're kind of, um, you know, just re rebuilding, yeah. reconnecting again. Because, you know... Um, what the what the what the crazy what the crazy turmoil that I I've know, been I causing yeah. while I was in active 
Um, also, you, know, you can you can swear on this show. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. right. <laughs> I'm the one who's gonna try and control stuff. Yeah, we are Sky View. Right? <laughs> we are Sky View. Let's you turn know. up. But you can you can turn up. You can yeah. turn up. Don't worry. Because uh, I noticed, I noticed you're trying to yeah, your I was language. To, Don't worry about I was it. I'm trying to chill a little Don't bit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, man. Like, you know, I I I um you know, during my active addiction, you know, yeah. a lot of things got fucked up. You know, relationships get strained when um you constantly present trouble to the people that you are living with. You know what I'm saying? So we're rebuilding. Um, they can see that I'm taking steps towards being a better person, being right. a better That's father, right. you know, being a better partner. Yeah. So, you know, we're working together nicely. The family currently is good now. I'm good with my moms. I'm good with my pops, my family. It is good. Uh, you know, the kid, I see the kid every other day now. I, I used to go like, you know, weeks, months without seeing a little nigga, man. <laughs> you know, I can pop in now, you know, and um, yeah. it, it's very fulfilling spiritually. It that, that's the kind of things that, you know, keep you afloat as a human being. You yeah. know, your loved ones feeling your love and you feeling theirs. I feel that. you being there for the people that, you know, really yeah. love you the most. So, yeah. You know what I've, what, what I've never really heard about your story, right? I mean, you've been at so many interviews. Yeah. But maybe I missed it. You correct me if you've spoken about it. But I never really heard about how your family felt about you dropping out of school to pursue your career, your uh, art, and all of oh that. Yeah. Please share a little bit of uh, how they felt about that. The, the real authentic feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it's hard to tell because it's hard to tell because I didn't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your mama. I don't go to UB. <laughs> I'm in the streets. You know, it's yeah, but the streets. I didn't, I didn't tell him. I just dropped out. I didn't tell him the first, uh, the first couple of, I think the, about close to a year. They thought a year. I was, yeah, close to a year they thought yeah. I was going to school. Because I was living in block three by myself. Oh yeah. Yeah, so With Sasa. you know, um, not by yourself. <laughs> you know, she, yeah, we'll she, talk about it. We'll yeah, talk yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they would pop in and, you know, there would be books there. How is school? I'm like, yeah, no, it's all good. We, we rock it. This time I haven't been to school. I'm still getting my allowance because I didn't tell them either. Oh, yeah. I didn't freeze nothing. Yeah. I'm still getting my allowance. Every time the allowance comes in, I fuel the Nissan. We go on to Joburg to go pursue Joe the music. Berg. Yeah. I used to... Every time the allowance comes in, we pour gas, I put blankets in the whip, we go sleep in my car in Joburg and hustle, try to get it. That's how I won the shizness shit. I was... Damn, yeah, son. Yeah. I was sleeping in my car at Monash, the university. Yeah. And I had to do shizness. It, and then I found out it was a competition, so I had to keep coming back. So... I had to stay in Joburg and sleep in the visitor's parking lot. Shit, dog. <laughs> so that, and I ended up winning the shit, right? So, you know, I guess, you know, it was kind of worth it. The most dangerous city in the world, man. And, I was, and I was sleeping in the whip. So, you know, that's how much I really love this shit. You know what's crazy? What's crazy is that I heard a similar story today on my show. I had Tato Jessica. Yeah. She said the first four months, six months, she was living out of her car. Yeah. She'd have clothes in there, go somewhere to shower, go yeah. back, get some clothes, yeah. move around. Yeah, there's a, a Sasol. It's a gas station in um, in SA. They have yeah. showers and shit. We used to get in there, bust <laughs> down. We out. We in shit's this looking like money. <laughs> so, Dog. I mean, back to, back to my folks, man. My folks, yeah. my pops used to tell me, like, he didn't want me to work for nobody. You know what I mean? He, he's always instilled in me, like, you want me to be an entrepreneur? Yeah. He And the, the, the ironic part is that he, he was a teacher. Oh. Uh, and then eventually became a headmaster and then he retired. But he was always emphasizing, like, yo, you got to, yeah, education is important, but you need you to grind, have yeah. your own thing and work for yourself. I don't want you to work for nobody. So it was kind of fucking me up because I was like, yo, so why am I going to school? I already got this OZF Teddy show popping. So I might as well just, you know, leave that alone and go uh, pursue this music shit, you know? So, but they understood. Like, it wasn't uh, a big fight. I didn't get kicked out or nothing like yeah. that. They just kind of, you know, just stood by me and 
watched where it was gonna go because you know what's crazy about your story, man? Yeah. You actually had like 42 points. Yeah, I was, and you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I could, I could have been a I could have been a lawyer. <laughs> Do you know that there are chances in this world, like amazing chances, plenty chances, like the highest chances this dude could have been a lawyer. He had 42 points. Right. But didn't decide to do law. What the fuck, Ozzy? Look, uh, you know what? Let me qualify my question, right? Right, right. So what the fuck, Ozzy? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it's, it's, it all boils down to purpose, you know? Um, I've, been, I've been in love with the music since I was a kid. Ever since I think I could hear and see and, and talk, man, it's always been about the music, you know? I think that's why my parents, they didn't have a hard time. Yeah. Um, you know, accepting the fact that I want to go on this path because ever since primary school, dog, I've been rapping, performing in the crib, yeah. doing V shows. I mean, I think they saw it coming. I think they, they I, saw it coming. I think they saw you it coming. Think? They they knew it. They knew uh, this one is gonna do. This one is gonna do his music show regardless. Dog. Okay, the school thing is amazing. Right. Right. Yeah. And congratulations for 42 points. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a lot of niggas. <laughs> I can't that pull don't it make. off. <laughs> I can't pull it off. <laughs> but you know what? You and I, you and I, I can relate to you. Dog, I love you, dog. Yeah. I'm meeting you for officially, officially, for the first time. But I can safely say I got love for you, dog. Ah, uh, man. TK, you got nigga, man. You got nigga, man. For real. Yeah. Because, I mean, you can hear a lot of people saying this, social media, that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are who you are on your socials. You do what you do. Yeah. But I don't think you can really appreciate a person until you sit down for a conversation. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you could be capping a lot of things. Yeah, but yeah. even in the cap, I, there's a vibration that I'm feeling. Yeah, I mean, I'm always telling, I'm always telling people, like, there's, like, people who know me from social media um, and like off the bat don't like me as soon as they link up with me and they kick it with me for, like, for like more than five minutes they love me i've never linked up with anybody and then they oh, yeah. said man that nigga's an asshole everybody that, that, that links up with me kicks it with me fucks with me like you're, you're for sure nigga yeah tell me we'll, we'll wrap up the school education background right is there any regret that you didn't do the law thing you didn't finish school and you'll be right uh, now or uh, you're safe I, I was actually pursuing um, media studies when I was a youth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. The points could qualify for the law, but too many books, man. So I was like, nah, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I don't think so. I, I, I don't have any... Re you mean about dropping out? Yeah, yeah. I don't have any regrets. No I actually regrets. wish I dropped out sooner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I dropped out fourth year, second semester. I was I was almost done. I couldn't take it anymore. And the OZF Teddy show was just taking off. If I had like maybe second year bounced and just went to Joburg, suffered for like that six months. <laughs> you know, who knows? You know, the, the regret, the regrets that I, I, I have, which are not really like regrets or anything, that le that lessons, I guess, yeah. is that I, I didn't pursue um the international uh oh, yeah. shit sooner. Well, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I feel like I really had a shot. You had. Yeah. You if had. I, if I, I, if I, if I can leave, if the music that I, I, I make and the performances that we put on, and the quality that we're bringing to the table in any other can, in any other country, Brazil, Angola, nigga, you'd blow up. We fuck it up. You'd freaking blow up. Yeah. So what we need to do is get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need to do. Yeah. That's what I said. I Let's do. fucking book out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look. Yo, did you hear that this nigga was walking around naked and fucking beat up? What the I knew that actual fuck? What the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now that I have you here. Yes, sir. Did you walk in public naked? Um, yeah, man, that happened. Like Jesus. <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> I blame this motherfucker right here. Yeah, shut up, my nigga Cat. He ain't got nothing to Aussie. do with it. My nigga Cat ain't no, got Bria. nothing to do with it. 
once again, man, you know, um, is that self destructive behavior? You know, um, tell me what was happening. What happened on that? Is that day, it's self destructive behavior? You, you know, I'm high as a kite. I don't give a fuck. I have nothing to lose. So you know, I'm like, yo, okay, cool. I wake up, right? Was that before? Or after I have. Rehab? I, we were drinking a lot. It's after rehab. No, this is before. Before rehab. Yeah, that's okay. when I was still going crazy. I got you. I got yeah. you. I got you. So I, I was on that shit. I was losing my shit. So, um, I wake up right from a night of partying and all that. You know, a nigga had stole my bracelet and my ankle bracelet. <laughs> And I was like wearing different a different t-shirt. I'm like, y'all niggas is crazy. All right, cool. You like you like my clothes? Have it all. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so I get naked. I go to the bar to get a drink naked. And bar this high. <laughs> so I'm naked. So she shorty who's selling, she think I'm just topless. I'm butt, I'm butt ass naked. Um, and then I walk back to the car. <laughs> I'm chilling. I don't even want to put no pens. I'm like, nah, you can have that. You know what I'm saying? So I was just high, man. It was, that's, I had, I felt like I had nothing to lose. It was, it was crazy. It was a duck time. Did you, did you really have nothing to lose? No, I You know what? Well, there's a social media backlash to it. Right. So did you really, as a brand, as Ozzy have Teddy, I, with, the, with the intention that you have for your brand and your music, yeah. did you really have nothing to lose? I felt like I had nothing to lose. I, at that point, I felt like even the brand wasn't shit. You know what I'm saying? Say that one more time. You felt? I felt like the brand wasn't shit either. At that time? Yeah, at that time, I felt like, nah, fuck that. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't bumping the music like that. Niggas ain't booking me. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of disrespect going on when the, when the boy name come up. Um, you know, and just a whole lot of problems, even in my personal life, right, you right. know, turmoil with the with the family and you know, I was just like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? So I resorted to um I resorted to to, to substances and yeah, you know, alcohol and other self destructive behavior because I thought I had nothing to lose, but I actually have a lot to lose. You know, I have a family that loves me, I have yeah. uh, a kid that look up to me, man. And, uh, Yo, you what's know, your and, kid's name again? Uh, his name is Lee, L-I. What's that? L-I. L-I. L -I. Yeah, Lee. It's Chinese. <laughs> yeah. So I want the nigga to go over and, you know, be uh, go go do some shit in Asia and, you know, <laughs> represent the fam. You know what I'm saying? You know, Listen, China, you know China is, is, no the, Chinese, second, is, the, is the second growing uh, uh, economy, right? I mean, hey. Yeah, it's the fastest growing economy. So, you know. Hey. It, you know what? It's crazy that you don't feel like you didn't lose anything on that. Yeah, even even my therapist was asking me like, "Yo, um, how how does that make you feel? Like the fact that you did that and uh, your brand, people, the naysayers." Look, and I, I told her straight up like, I, "I'm not even concerned about that. Like at this moment, I don't even feel like I lost anything. The only concern that I have was for my family, like because." My mother was obviously distraught. Of course, yeah. yeah. My I father, think my mom would be yeah, too, you know, you know what, what I mean? mean? So like, you know, I'm talking tears and everything. So that that was my biggest concern. With the Aussie F Teddy brand and people looking at me uh, some type of way, I, I really didn't care. So you, if, if someone was to say you regret it, it means you only regret it as far as your family is concerned. I mean, I regret it. As far as that's not a cool thing to do. <laughs> if I, hey, don't. <laughs> that is not a, a cool thing to do. I'm uh, in the position that I'm in. Um, uh, I realize that I'm also like a, a role model to, to, to some kids. You know what I'm saying? Like people look up to me. So, yeah. you know, I let a lot of people down. It's not, it's not right cool up. to do that. And public decency, right? So you know, I I did put out uh, my apology to yeah. to in, to try to make amends to everybody that I might have you know rubbed the wrong way because it wasn't cool. But I was more concerned about uh, I wasn't at the time I was more concerned about my family. Uh, I told you, yeah, than, than the, the Ozzy of Teddy shit because I wasn't really in that Ozzy of Teddy headspace at the time. You know what I mean? Yo, let me put you on. Let me put you on uh, 
Something that I saw, right? Right. <laughs> and I thought it was going to be very interesting for you and I's conversation, hey, right? Hey, what is it? Um, I hope it ain't about me, man. <laughs> I mean, it's not directly about you, but I know you would have some thoughts about it. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. So, some cat right. went on this app. I haven't gotten on this app yeah. yet, so yeah. I don't know. I don't really know exactly how it works. But it's called Chat GPT. Yeah, okay. I don't know it either. Okay, cool. So you and I are in the same boat. So this cat goes on to Chat GPT and asks to name the best 10 rappers in B dub. Right. Here's the list. Yeah. And I want to get your thoughts on it. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. you're freaking Aussie at Teddy. Yeah. It feels like I'm interviewing Lil Wayne <laughs> when he hears that. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, about like a group uh, what is a that? group and then he's like Drake wasn't on it what? Oh, 21 Savage no 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 no. Gucci Mane yeah 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 he's like Gucci Mane oh yeah it. yeah when and he's they... like Eminem wasn't on it it's yeah, like yeah. shout out my man Gucci like, yo, shout out my man <laughs> shout out Gucci Mane <laughs> <laughs> so this cat comes up with this list right here yeah. number one Zeus. All right. Number two. <laughs> All right. Scar number two. Number two is Scar. Okay. All right. Number three, These of You. Okay. All right. Number four, Your Boy, Atlas Sound. Uh huh. ATI. Yeah. Number five, I'm even scared to say this name right here Frost. Yeah, I. <laughs> Number six, Ben T. Yeah. Number seven, Sasa Claus. Oh. Number eight, William Last KRM. Number nine, Cass. Number ten, Flex the Ninja. Okay. Is this app correct? Is it not? According to Lord Summer, Bria. So hold on. Is, is the app made that list? What is that's the app that made that list? That's the app with the list. So now nah, that app is bugging. It got bugs. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta, you, yeah, you gotta fix that app. It's got bugs. <laughs> it's bugging. You don't buy with it. No. Uh, Flex the Ninja. Isn't he a producer? He's a producer. He's not a rapper. Yeah, he's Visa's producer. Yeah. No, the app is lost its contact. All right, let's mind. hear from you then. Uh, give me your. I don't want to say top ten because that's yeah, a that's lot. That's too many. Let's do maybe. Can you do top five? Let's let's try five. Let's try five. Let's, let's go. try five. Okay. Oh, in the order, number one is this in that order. Oh, number one, H.E.I., the GOAT, greatest performer of our generation. Um, you Shout know, out H.E.I., what's yeah, going on? A lot bro? of people saying the boy can't rap. The boy can spit. It's just that he's got melodies out of this world, you know what I'm saying? So number one, I give it to him. Yeah. And then I give myself number two. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just trying to be fair. I give myself number two. I've impacted the culture in terms of, you know, confidence. You know, I'm the I came in with the swag, man. Niggas weren't doing Bria, this. Bria, let me tell you this, bro. You're talented, bro. Yeah. If you didn't know. For sure. Let me let me holler at you for a second. Yes, sir. You know me. I'm a humble. I'm a humble cat. Dog. <laughs> if at all, if at all, you want to mess things up, right? Because you know it happens. We're human beings. If at all, there's something you're about to mess up. Yeah. Remember these words. Yeah. Dog, you are. You are talented, dog. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I saw this song. I saw this song dropped out a month or two, a couple of months ago. Yeah. Um, remind me the, the the title of the song, but there's a video to it. Right. When I was wearing the hat, or oh. yeah, like a basketball court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called With Me. It's on the new album, I Am Summer. Yeah, it's called With Me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Yeah. That one. It's the beat. Yeah. It's your ride on the beat. Right. Yeah. That's. I was like, that's, that's it's, it. and it's it's not even old school. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Old with the new tied up together. Yeah, man. It's like, that bop. It's yeah, yeah. Cause it's catchy. I find myself singing along to it. Like, hey, bro, man, like, ain't nobody fucking with me. Yes. Yes. TK, you that nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> you that nigga. <laughs> I checked out that shit. I checked that shit. Yeah. And I was like, who are you with? Were you with him? Um, no, I was or someone else. Yeah, it was me, uh, fella, and Psych Josie. 
And you yeah, see yeah. how much traction that song had, like yeah. on Instagram. I mean, on on social media. Yeah, on social media. I think. But let's go like back. A, let's yeah. go back to the top five. So you number two, number three. Who is it? Uh, number number three. I give it to my man Vizo. Vizo. Um, you know, great artist, great lyricist. You know. Uh, number four, I give it to. Um, in terms of you know the aesthetic, the branding, you know the music, the feel good vibes, I give it to Ben T. Ben T. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the boy, the boy is is, is really doing his thing. You know what I'm saying like right, right. Yeah, he's on his way out. You know what I'm saying. So I watch think out you for were that. you were. You didn't really feel this way about Benji when he stepped out in the when he first when he first dropped out on the scene though. Nah, but I did. Like I you met did? Him, yeah, I met him when he was um still coming up. He was rolling with the Fader Gang niggas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met him at um uh Dilla had a show in Bajana La Water Front. It's called Fuck Love. I right. met him, we depped it up. It was cool. There's always been good energy, me, me and the boy, you know. So because not everybody's gotta be like, you know. Backpack rapper, lyrical <laughs> deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But speaking of that, I heard, I heard that you got a beef or had a beef. Yeah. Which which will lead into my next question. I don't right? have any more beefs. Oh, this is good. This is if good. I, I might, yeah, maybe back in the day. Hey, you never know. Yeah. But you wasn't really good with uh Lati at some point. Right. Wasn't really good with uh Frost at some point. Yeah. Wasn't really good with uh, who else? Uh, v, you good with V? Nah, I'm good. With You've v. You've been good with nah, V. Nah, I'm good with the general, right? man. We, you know we, what? We I'm, I'm I'm leading to a direction right now. Yeah. Who else wasn't you good with? Uh the president. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm stuck. <laughs> God, <laughs> now nah, we good now. <laughs> you good yeah, now? We good now, right? He better be good now. Yeah, you we good, be good now, now, right? Now. Yeah. No, you know, uh, yeah, you know, body bag five. A lot of people thought I wasn't good with the president. Okay. But, Anyone know, else yeah. you wasn't good with? Um, yeah, I mean, me and AT had a squabble back in the day. Okay. Yeah, we had a little bit of... Yeah, there was a track for that. Body Bag 3. All the body bags. Actually, if you want to count the beats that I had, I think you can you can really, like, tap into the Body Bag series. Of course, of the course. The tracks, like, uh, Body Bag 1. Yeah. Ryan Blaze. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Hold on a second. And, and TIA. Right? Yeah. Body back two drama boy, you know. Body back three ATI. Uh, then murder summer drama boy. Bang oh. live frost. Everybody just put them all in one little you one know little pot. Yeah. yeah, smoked all them niggas. Switch it up a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then body back four frost. Body back five politicians. Yeah. I mean, there's that. Yeah. You and Baxin. Oh yeah, and then and then there was Bax. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh yeah, uh, there's that guy. <laughs> yeah, and then there was Bax. Um, yeah, you guys have had a whole thing at your house with your brother and all of that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that but that never spilled off into the music. Okay, that that never spilled off into the music. I don't know why. I don't know why. I never. Which is good. It's good. Look, I I only ask this, not to make the conversation go on. Right. right? But I'm a guy, I'm a simple dude. Yeah. I like to believe, right? Right, right. And when I when I chat with you, I always feel like it's a it's a spiritual encounter. Yeah. <laughs> like you're supposed to give something to me <laughs> and I'm supposed to give something to you. Okay, you know what I mean? Sure. What's that? So I asked I asked um, I asked Scar this question when he was over at my show the other time. Yeah, I saw it. Like, yo, what is it gonna take for you to move on and move over? the negative effect, the negative feelings that you have over T-Easy, right? Right. Right. I asked him that. Yeah, you don't, so you don't fuck him. with Easy? He still don't, he still don't mess with Easy. Yeah. Up to now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you a little bit of what happened yesterday. Yeah. I'm trying to get into a pick and pay, right? Right. Over in Sibili. And guess who was playing right by my side here at a liquor store with Gedili Zozo? On the ones and twos. Oh, yes. It's my G -Easy. Yeah, your man is. G Easy. <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, is the universe trying to do some shit? Because we were talking about Easy with so, Scar. Yeah, so what, what you trying to You trying to squash it, nigga? No, I, I, look, I'm going I'm to be on record and say that 
as small as I am. Yes, sir. I've tried to put the brothers together. Uh-huh. In all humility, I'm not. I'm not God, but is I, it, just, I just felt it in my heart. Is it true? He, is it true? He said um, he never go back to uh, Yaron FM as long as uh, homeboy still there. Scar. Yeah. Is, did he, he say didn't, that? He didn't say it on my show. Okay, all right. So I don't know. He didn't say it on my show. Yeah, hey, I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I only I only ask you this question to say the same thing that I asked Scar. Yeah. Like, don't you care about negative... Oh, don't you care about, like, negative thoughts about other human beings while you are alive? You yeah, I mean? yeah. Such that you don't want to die having beefs and all of that. Do we have time for that as all I, I I mean, you know, lately, yeah. I don't want to lie to you, man. Lately, I've been feeling that same type of way, you know? Right. Um, having problems with people. With people, yeah. And a lot of niggas. It's not working. It's, it's problematic, you know? It's draining. Because you go, like, the whole country is small, you know what I mean? So, I could be here, right? Yeah. Nigga could walk in. I see these niggas backstage. I see these niggas at events, restaurants, everywhere. And, you know, we out here. We mean mugging. It's, we, you know, we watching our back. It's not cool. Yeah. And also, just like that negative energy is not necessary even in business, right? Like, I think that at all, with me, Buxin, ATI, Visa, and oh, Benji yeah. Yeah, yeah. would be, and FME DJs would be historic. How you feel about FMD? You guys are good? I think the drip is crazy. I think they currently getting all the girls. <laughs> and we need to... I think we all need to fuck with them niggas. Oh, them <laughs> niggas is getting laid. Hey, uh, oh, them uh, niggas... It goes without saying. Them niggas is getting... <laughs> it goes without saying. Hey, yo. <laughs> I see you niggas. Give with on Gabela Rice in the comments. <laughs> No, FME, FME got a lockdown yeah. right now. So, you know, them on the tour, Buckset, ATI, Viso, Benchy, we hit the road. That's, you know, that's, that's vibes. And ATI, but you know, that's like Michael straight Jackson. Up, straight like, up, he, let's see if, if we can, you know what I we see? can get him to agree. You know what I want to see you up there, bro? Yeah. What is it going to take to see you up there? Um, you, and up there just really means, dog, you're talented, bro. Right. But I want to see you in the same league of bookings, right? With the FMEs, with the Visos, with the ATIs. I want a flyer that says ATI, Viso, Aussie, what, 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 Amant Lebron. I've never really seen that happening. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, to be honest, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take some accountability. Right. You know, I haven't been really moving correctly. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I'm... I'm banned <laughs> at half the clubs here in CVD. <laughs> I'm banned all over this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. I'm not, let me not name names, okay? You better keep talking to them, though, yeah, so that they not, know. Let me not name Release names. Release the brother. But yo, Coochie, lift the band. <laughs> lift the band, bro. Lift the band, man. Come yo, on. Yo, Coochie, hey. Coochie's my brother. Yeah, right, shout out I to Coochie, I respect Cucci, him man. so much. Yo, Coochie, if, if I'm your young brother... And you love me as a young brother. Lift the band, son. On behalf of freaking Bria, Ozzy, or Teddy, lift the freaking band off. Let me get in the club, man. Please Let's do man. my thing. <laughs> What'd you do to get a band? I, I don't know. I came through, right? I came through one time. I was lit. We all getting in. And they come from behind me, grab me. It's a bouncer. He's like, yo, you're not supposed to be in this motherfucker. We told you. I'm like, nigga, when? I. This is a true story? This is a true story. I'm like, what I do? God damn it, bro. You know, niggas always tell you know what you did. I I honestly couldn't remember. Oh, but that was me at Cigar Lounge at some point. Yeah, like I, I must have got too lit and did some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? But one time, but they didn't see me when I was doing that. But one time, you know, some girl um, poured a drink on me. And, you know, I remember I took clothes off and I gave it to her. I'm like, yo, I need some brand new clothes, but they didn't see me do that. So it couldn't have been that. Oh, yeah. Okay. But again, that was me back in the day. Okay, it's not okay. me now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I used to do a lot of crazy shit. I feel man. you. I feel you. So, you know, that that kind of spills off into the business. 
and people, you know, it ruins the, the, you become, you know, um, unpredictable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can't really rely on you. You know what I'm saying? Brands, like, brands don't really yeah, want to deal yeah, with that. And then brands don't really want to deal with that. Promote this thing like, yo, I might tell him to come through. He might not even pull up. But Bria, look, you got a brand new project. Right. It's dropping on the 1st of May, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am You summer. want everybody to rock with it. You want everybody to get on that band. You want, yeah. you want everybody to get on this shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, let's do this. Let's appeal to whoever's watching this shit because it's going to be a lot of people. Right. Right? Yeah. What would you say to appeal to a person who thought you're a bad boy and they don't want to listen to your music for them to then get onto the new project? What would you say to them right now? Um, to somebody, a business person, right? Yeah, especially business people. Yeah, the yeah. business people that didn't want to deal with me. I just like to say that, you know... Um, uh, everybody goes through something and, you know, I was going through a lot. You know, I'm still fairly young. Straight up. You know, I've grown up now. I'm trying to handle my business. Yeah. So, um, you know, get a boy a second chance, a fifth chance, eighth chance. <laughs> and, uh, Give him a seventh chance. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, the, the, the talent is still there. The performance is still up to par. Um, and, you know, my core fans, like the diehards, they're still there and they really want to see me on these stages. So um, I think we should get an opportunity to let's be Let's give you a chance, right? There. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just get Let's do business. Yeah. Tell me about May Day, the 1st of May, yeah. 2023. The first, yeah. I am Summer. Yeah. God dang it. Tell me yeah. about that. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a lot of the word Summer in my... Um, yeah. In my whole thing, you know, like Lost Summer, I Am Summer. So, what I was looking at um, the past, right? All the moments that I've given yeah. to the culture, you know, the body bags, um, you know, even including everything. Yeah, the scandals, the performances, the swag, everything, you know? So, you know, I just, and, I, and, it, and it came to me like, yo, every time in the summer, <laughs> Some shit pop off. There it is. There it is. You know, and I got something to do with it. Something, a trend, something comes up or something is buzzing. So I just decided to name the album I Am Summer because, you know, you are that, summer. That's, that's the time I, mean, keep you are summer, I, I, I keep people entertained. You know, Straight. all the Straight. moments are given to the culture, to hip hop, the, you know, BW music scene, you know. So I decided to name the album I Am Summer because there's always some shit popping off in the summer. And also just to kind of put my, you know, some good vibes. You know, in the summertime, it's always... Vibes. Yeah. It's colorful. Because a lot of people, you know, it's primarily... A lot of booty. Yeah. No, <laughs> they know me for... It is a, there is a lot of sun it's a, it's a lot of booty. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, so just kind of like a lot of people know me for the aggressive raps, the beef records and all that. So I just want to kind of show niggas like I can make hit records from track one... To ten, just straight smackers. You know what I'm saying? Like I for the you. summer. I feel yeah. you. Yeah. So, you know, just kind of get back in the game, man. Bring the positive vibes back up. I feel that. You yeah. know what? Before we before we started recording this, I was I say congratulations yeah. on your new project, right? For sure. Yeah. This is your eighth studio project. Yeah, this is my eighth. And you know what? A lot of people that are looking right now, they think it's easy. I mean, a lot of people that are watching now, right. they think uh, being an artist and actually putting out content, putting out music is easy. Right. But you could attest that it's not an easy journey, it's, right? It's not, it's not an easy thing to do um, something that you love yeah. and uh, you're risking. Yeah. Uh, uh, for, for like the better part of the last 10 years, I've been doing this music thing consistently. Right. At a very high level. Like, you can look at all my videos. I've never, you know, put out sub quality. It's always been right there. Top tier. Yeah. Top tier, yeah. So, you know, it's, 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 it's not easy. You know, it helps that I'm talented. So I can, you know, I can flip. Well, what'd you say? What'd you say? Huh? It, it, it helps that I'm the best <laughs> rapper in Africa, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I can keep the people engaged like that. Straight but, up. you know, not a lot of people can keep it going for this long. I've been doing this for 
um, 10 years and I'm still here and people are still looking at me a decade later, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I appreciate the fans and everybody who has something to do with that. Um, and, you know, it's, it's cool. What's that one collab that you're looking out for? We'll get back to uh, I'm Summer because right. I want to know about production and all yeah, of that, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's dropping on May Day. I also want to talk a little bit about expectations from your fans, yeah. right? The Die Hard, yeah, Rhea, yeah. Lord Summer, yeah, Lord Woody Summer, fans. Lord Summer FC. FC. <laughs> 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 but, matter of fact, yeah. yo, let's, let's do this. Smash or pass? <laughs> you gotta, uh, you, oh, shit. <laughs> you want to go straight into it. <laughs> Faith and Ketsy. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were talking about collaborations, but that, that's that's a good collab. Fuck uh, that. <laughs> Ain't, nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Yo, cheers, bro. Yo, hey, my man, GK, you that nigga, man. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Faith family. and Ketsy. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, she could get it. Smash. Smash. I would. I mean, who would have? You man? would. Huh? Faith and Kids, <laughs> She's fly. Mishali? Mishali. Yeah. That's that 30 under 30, shorty? Yeah. yeah. South Africa, 30 under 30. Yeah, she all right. Yeah, she all right. I can get with that. She can get it? Yeah, she all right. Who is your, who is your B-dub uh, celeb crush? Um, I hey, mean, this is, hey. This is no, this is. No disrespect to the woman, right? No disrespect, because we gotta be careful. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> you don't, you don't know my life. <laughs> what are you? Give me kill. Yo, hey, hey, listen, okay. Um, I mean, it's not really like a crush or anything, but I think Priscilla's kind of looking Who? good. I think Priscilla looking good, lady. Priscilla. I think Priscilla's. I think Priscilla is a flame, man. Chef Gusto's away, Priscilla. Yeah, that Priscilla, man. I think she, I think she, I think she's a flame. Yo, Priscilla, what up? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Priscilla, what up? Let's pop it. Yeah. Yo, isn't isn't she with like uh, the producer, uh, father of a father of a child, DJ uh, Levels? Yeah, I don't know about all that. I, I don't really know about that either. I don't know about all that. I mean, but she can get it. I think she, I think she's a cutie. Yeah. No disrespect. No t- <laughs> I think she's a cutie. No disrespect, but like yeah. you know, she, you know, she, yeah. Who she's else can a, get it? Who else, who else can get who? it? Who around here? Yeah, celebrity crush. Ah, uh, that's I don't know who else. Who else out there? Who's outside, man? B Dub, yeah. Who's outside? Let's talk. Let's talk B Dub. Right. Let's talk B Dub. Um, Tato Jessica. Tato Jessica. Tato Jessica. You know that's this like those. Women, right? Yeah. Like, that are beautiful women. Yeah. But, like, I, I'm not attracted to them because of, like, you know, like, how I see them, right? Right, 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 like right. Like, Whitney Houston or, or like, uh, you know. I totally like, understand. Like, Mariah Carey or, you know Very what I'm normal, yeah. Yeah, like, Jill Scott, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's, that's how I see. Tato. That's how I see Tato. Yeah. yeah she's, she, she's a beautiful woman, but, like, you know, she's just, like. She she has this aura like like uh, Pussy like Pussybina. Pussybina. Yeah, like I don't see her like that. Like you don't see her like what? Like like that. Like like she can get it? Yeah, but like she can. She's a beautiful woman, but like <laughs> I took my glasses off. <laughs> what this motherfucker tripping off of? I'm telling you, she prayed for me once. I remember <laughs> I came to her. What she did what? She prayed for me. Prayed. Yeah. Like Heavenly Father, yeah, like, we're I here was today. And shit. I don't know what the fuck I was going through. <laughs> God, hey, dog, I'm a crazy motherfucker. I went to her, I'm like, yo, this, 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 it's crazy. She was like, hey, come here. It was, <laughs> it, was, it was a spiritual connection. Like, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, I appreciate her. So you that. can't ever see her that way? I mean, it's not because of that. she fine. She fine, fine. It's not because of that. She was just made that way. Like, she's you. very special. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. There are people that you put here. You yeah, that, she's just, like, very special, man. You, it's, I can't explain it, but, like, she has a light. Um, Palesa Malefe. Uh, Palesa Malefe. Oh, yeah, I saw a TikTok the other day. She is Crazy. She is stupid thick, too. Stupid, stupid. 
cutie. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, she's a cutie. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah? I'm with that. She can get it? Yeah, I, I'm with that. <laughs> I'm with that. I like her. Who else I got? Who else I got? Who are, are you on Instagram? Yes, sir. Who are some of the Instagram famous B-dub ladies that you come across on your Instagram? Um... Do you know Anita Gunny? No. Do you I don't know? really, like... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see chicks on Instagram. Why? Yeah, you're not, you're not What's wrong around. with my shit? You're not moving around like that. Yeah, I feel you. I don't, yeah, I don't see chicks on my Instagram. It's just like... Like, once in a while, yeah, maybe there might be, like, yo... Um, Tyra or... Tyra who? Molusi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyra, Tyra, is, Tyra Molusiwa or Molusi? I think it's Molusiwa, yeah. Molusiwa, yeah? Uh, yeah, my, you know, so, but yeah, I Tara. follow her, so, you know. How about Tyra? How about Tyra? She cool, right? but, like, yeah, that's the... I... Because I, she, she used to be with my homie, right? Ski Mask. She used to be with your homie? Yeah, she used to be with uh, uh, Ski. They from Fade Again, yeah. So I never really... Oh, wait. Like, oh, Tara and, and... And Ski, yeah. They used to date, like, back in the day. So, you know, I used to, you know, see hey, yo, them together ski, and all that, so, you know. Yo, Ski, bro. <laughs> ski that messed around with the, ba- with the baddest. Yo, Ski! Ski! <laughs> yo, Ski's that nigga, man. Ski's that nigga. But you he chilling ain't... these days. Like, he chilling. Like, Ski's that nigga. Like, he's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling these days, but Ski... Ski's yo, that nigga. Yo, Ski and Tara... Way back in the day. Way back in the yeah. day. You know, I don't want to fuck this shit up or anything, but like it was like. Of course, yeah. I mean, yeah, just back in the day, dog. Like, I didn't even know. The back I, in the Fader Gang days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when Fader that's Gang a, was that's doing That's a while ago. Yeah. That's a while ago. Yeah. Dog, look, how is the relationship with the baby mama, with your woman? Um, We still together, we still rocking. We Let's good. do this. Yeah. What do you love about her? You know, uh, uh, Commitment, you know she's 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 like uh, she's very loyal, man. Like she's stuck by me. Loyalty. Yeah, we've been together nine years. Yeah, nine years. So you know, and I'm not the easiest nigga to be around. Hell, like, hell. nigga, who you? T- you know what I'm talking about? I'm a, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a Gemini, so you know there's like two crazy niggas living inside of me. So, you know, she stuck by me through everything. And even now we're still together trying to build our little family. So, you know, her loyalty and her commitment to what we're trying to do is, is admirable. And so, you know, that's, that's my yeah. favorite thing about her, yeah. What's, cool. the, what's the craziest groupie thing that has ever happened to OZF Teddy after a show or before a show or during a show? After, man, okay, there's just two chicks. One's like... Like they put us, they put me in a bathroom and then they just flashed me. <laughs> I don't know what they wanted to go down, but you know, I got out of there. You got out of that. Yeah, you got I got out of that because I, I wasn't by myself. So I got out of that. You know, my nigga came through like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> man? So I had to get out of there. And at one time, be, yeah, yeah. Palapin, Talk to me. I'm with my little homie Murder. Uh huh. We performing. After the performance, we going. The car is full. Car is full. The car is full. Some sure you wanted to come through. She was crazy about murder. She wanted to come through with us, right? We were going to Saron. And she said, she jumped in the truck. <laughs> she said she jumped in the boot. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dog? This is a true story? <laughs> no, this is like a five-seater. So she wanted to jump in the, in the boot. <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> That's some shit. So that's that. I was like, I actually kind of felt a little sad. I mean, you know? like, you know, so we didn't put her in the trunk. We didn't put yeah, her in the trunk, but let's let's get that straight. Yeah, we had, yeah, we we had to go. Yeah, dog. Um, <laughs> you're very how hum, how many minutes do we have? About eight. Okay. Let's get real a little bit. Yeah. You're a very controversial guy. Right. Right? I mean, you know that, right? Yeah, I mean, I it just like I stumble upon controversy. You know, what I'm saying? like it happens. And you cause controversy. You do. Yeah. You, but I, I, I like, out of your natural. Yeah, like I would be sitting there, like, what can I do to fuck these niggas up? You know, I just be chilling, and I would be like looking at the TV, and I say such and such is trash, right? Like that, I'd be really feeling like that. Straight up. And then you know it blows up. So, so I wanted to know. What should I do first? Um, 
let's do this first. And then we'll get to the exact thing that I wanted to do now, yeah. right? So let's replace that with this. Yeah. The first thing that comes to your mind when you hear these names. Okay. The first thing that comes to my mind. The first authentic thing. Yeah. All right? Kanye West. Brave. Brave. Yeah, brave. Why you say that? Genius. Uh, because, um, you know, a lot of people just go with the flow and confirm to a lot of the rules in the, um, the society, Conformity. the game. Yeah, Conformity. you know what I'm saying? And he, he, he does the opposite of that. He just goes his own, he got his own vibe. Yeah. I feel you. Kobe Bryant? Hey man, the greatest of all time, man. The Mamba. Mamba? Yeah. You know Mamba? Yeah. <laughs> you see, when a nigga says Mamba and not just Kobe Bryant, yeah. I know. Yeah. And you got Lakers 24. You know, you know, and I got the shirt on and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was hurt when he passed off. Yeah, I was hurt too, man. I've been a Lakers since, uh, I think, junior school. Like, ever since I started watching oh. ball. Like, when the Lakers was dominating the league, I've been a Laker. And Kobe Bryant, for me, for our generation. That was the know, shit. He's, yeah. That was the, the shit. Greatest. All right. You, you'll be surprised what the name that's coming up now is. A.K.A. Hey, man, that's that's crazy, man. Like, that's one of the greatest musicians this continent has ever had. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 really tragic what happened. Um, Yo, he got popped. It, right. Like, niggas is... I, I didn't... I knew, like, South Africa is a... It's dirty. It's, it's, a, it's a dangerous country, but I didn't... I never really pictured, like... That would be that some, deep, right? Some, somebody... He's helping with another one. Somebody like high profile like AK could just get popped easily in the street like that. You know Durban, yeah. Capello Street. Right. I know exactly that street because I've been there before. That yeah, that whole week I was like paranoid. Like, yo, yeah. It's crazy. But it's life. What do you make of, of life just in a few seconds, right? Right. How it's leaving and then suddenly it's dead. What do you mean? Oh yeah, you mean like from from where he was, from the exit to... Yeah. You know, like, like you and I are alive right, right. now, right? So I could go downstairs and some... You and I can go downstairs and some shit and then the next off. day tomorrow, God forbid, obviously, yeah, yeah, yes, you hear TK is gone. Linda. No, no, that's yours, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what do you make of that phenomenon? Like, it's, it's, a, it's the strangest phenomenon. We know it, it's yeah. there. That's why, that's why, okay... I'm going to tell you the truth. That's why I don't really be giving a fuck. Like, because that's why I don't really care about, like, what people think and, like, who I got to, and it got to be, you know, like. That's why you speak your mind. Yeah, that's why I speak my mind because, like, bruh, this is only going to happen once, right? Like, you can repeat this video, but me being here with you. It's not going to be forever. Yeah, God exactly. So I'm never going to say this shit again. Are we drunk? Are we drunk? Or is this like a real shit? Nah, this is some real <laughs> shit, <laughs> TK. You know, we're not lit yet, nigga. We're not lit yet. So, oh, speak for yourself, nigga. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you've been going there, my nigga. All right, I got another name before we over. William Last KRM. William Last KRM. I think William is groundbreaking, right? William is actually a number one contender. For taking this whole black clot the country, international the flag, the whole black clot. Say you know less, what I'm saying? Say you know what I'm saying? Because like he reached out to me the other day. Oh, he wants to make some records. Okay. You know? So I was thinking like this nigga is on, right? Why would he want to make a collab project with me? So I'm thinking like it's part is because he's smart too. He's, it's probably part of his master plan to take the country as a whole out there and you know just let everybody eat he's a humble dude hard worker you know i can tell you this i'm a singer by the way yeah right you sing a little r&b you do look like tank. i got that r&b in yeah, i got that like tank. Tank. <laughs> i got that tank shit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. i was thinking about a track between among you i and viso uh me, i'm me. on the i'm on the i'm on the hook yeah. Y'all niggas is on the We on it. We on the we on the first. Yeah, let's yeah. Make it work. No, nah, let's let's get let's it. Make it work. Yeah, let's get we'll it. Make it work. Don't yeah. worry about let's it. Let's get it. Let's, let's get, get it. a Let few names. Know. Do you know who Boris Johnson is? Boris Johnson. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Who that? Prime Minister UK? No. 
Let's I am move not, on. I, I'm Barack not big on... Ob- Barack Obama? Yeah, everybody knows Barack. <laughs> Tell me about Barack. The first thing that comes to your mind. The first thing that comes to my mind, black president. I mean, you know... Everything I, is black. Yeah, it, it just... Well, what comes to my mind is actually that Jay Z and the NGZ. So my president is black, my Lambo is blue. <laughs> no, but like it was a vibe that time. I remember I was in Shasha River School. I was doing from five, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, when Barack was president, my teachers were going crazy. I didn't understand at the time, but right history, yeah. Um, Mac G. Mac G, the podcast nigga. The podcaster. Yeah, I think he's a funny dude, man. Uh, <laughs> I like, you know, he's fearless. He's brave as well. Yeah. Um, and he's 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 actually made podcasting, you know, in Africa, kind of like cool. You know, like you know, he was kind of like the first one yep. to do it. Yep. And then you know, a lot of people started coming in, and you know, so it's cool. Like he and he fucks with us. Like he comes to Botswana once in a while, and he fucks with us, and he has nothing good to say about the country. Right, so right, I fuck with right. him. Yeah. But I think niggas is hiding them. Like, niggas are keeping oh. them from 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 us. You know what I'm saying? I think so too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Not you can't bring Mac, you can't bring Mac G out here, and then you know just put somebody in front of him who's not going to like give the country that. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you. yo, whoever the day club, whoever's doing the, <laughs> who's always bringing Mac G out yeah, here. I, I can take the. What's happening to my that? family? Who's that, Lloyd? Architects is group, yeah, it's it's Lloyd. Hey, yo, Lloyd. Day Club, Architects, Lloyd. Yo, Lloyd, let me talk to that nigga. Yeah, Lloyd, let's holler at you for a second. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, remember, yeah, let me let me jump on, man. Let me talk to that nigga, man. You know what? But I enjoyed the ATI one, huh? Did you see it? Yeah, how you how you really feel about that ATI interview though? God damn it. I think it was dope, right? Nah, Bria. I I I swear to God. I love ATI. I love ATI. I just think I think that AGI is such like a, a character, right? This nigga is full of entertainment. And because I spent a little bit of time with him, when he talks, I can kind of hear what he's saying. I hope that doesn't make me crazy. Because <laughs> I can understand the shit that he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I quite enjoyed that. Straight up. Yeah. Look, I got I got two more names here. Right. And I don't mean to be political about it. Do my book. Uh the big home. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, I think I think um yeah, Dumabok is a great leader. You know, he's a no, he's a good guy, man. You know, I good kicked chap. it with him a couple of times and you know, he's a he's a he's a he's a good he's a good guy. You'd be you'd be very, very super shocked with the other name, yeah. the last name on it. Yeah. We saved the last four. <laughs> yeah. For the best. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> El Presidente. El Presidente. Mr. Erickson. Mr. Erickson. It's the hey. rock. Hey. It's, it's the rock. It's the, the Erickson. <laughs> Mr. Masisi, son. Yo. How hey. you feel? Yo, no. Shout out to the president of this country. I mean, a lot of people think... It's easy. I, I have... Uh, uh, beef with the president. I don't have a beef with the oh, president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had a beef with a situation that was uh, happening Straight to... Up. My people, you know, everybody was frustrated. You know, a lot of things were said, but I don't have a problem with the president. Yeah. And it's not easy to lead under those... Bro, it's uh, a whole damn country, yeah, under, the, under those conditions. So, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure everybody's doing their best. I don't have a problem with the president. I, I, love, think, I love the El Presidente, bro. Yeah, I think, like, you know, given a chance, he could do something. I think, look, he's smart. Right. Eloquent. He's got he's got good ideas, and he's assertive. Like I like the way how he's be Dog. how he be handling he will the tell you from his ops. <laughs> you know he looks them straight in the eye and hey, what's up? Ah, hey, you play the other day, all the line, savage, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That's that drop mic stuff. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 like, well, like. <laughs> yeah, man. That's he's from Mushupa, you know. Um, I'm from Mushupa. That's the south. That's the south. You know, right that's there. you know, it's so what. It's TMG. Mushupa. Yeah, Rabakata Bagamana. Of course. Yeah. Hey, you always say that, dog. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm really in tune with. I, I'm, I'm trying to be as self-aware as I can, and be proud of. Who I am I feel to you. the core, you know, as much you. as I can. Like I'm always like I'm always boasting about how much vernac I know, you know. And, 
Even though I don't spit in Zuzana like that. Most of the time, yeah, I mean. But I do. Cat the dog. It but I do, it's just that I, the way I do it, I s squeeze it in so smooth, like niggas can't catch it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Uh, yeah. What's that line again about water only cat it? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, you know, you know the rest. <laughs> you know the rest. <laughs> now we ain't gonna relive that because I was just kicking it with the homie the other day. I don't even perform that song no more. Even the, dr I don't even perform any of the beef tracks anymore because you know I just want to dead all that and just do the music and just give people vibes. Yo, Ozzy. Yes, sir. Bria, Lord Summer. Yo, bro. Um, from the bottom of my heart, yeah. I'm TK. Yeah. All right. My man, that nigga. That nigga. Yeah. Um, I'm speaking from my heart. Yes, sir. So you got to take this shit wherever you go forever. Yes, sir. There's a there's a light on your life. It's a light. Yeah, boy. And by light, I, I simply mean that you're a star. I appreciate it, man. At some point, you said you're not a celebrity, you're a star. I, I did say that. It's I a did. difference. Yes, sir. You're a star. And I could, I could really understand what you meant by that. Yeah. So I want to speak in your life and say, if you're a star, how can you not shine? Absolutely. Please keep shining. You're here on my podcast because I recognize you. The juice. On the juice, nigga. On the juice. 2.0, nigga. Yeah, nigga, this ain't no regular, regular. This ain't no regular. This ain't no regular programming. This ain't no regular, regular, nigga. This ain't no regular programming. <laughs> <laughs> but bottom of my heart, I recognize you. Yeah. I appreciate you for what you've done to B Dub. And as a as a person, right? Be who you want to be. Yes, sir. For whatever reasons that you want to be that person. Yeah, bro. For your family, for your fans. Yeah. Be who you want to be. I know there's a lot of noise around your life. It's cool. But look in the mirror. Decide to be who you want to be yeah. for whatever. Yeah. All right? For sure. And live on that life. Yeah. But most importantly, Bria, keep blessing us with the blessing of your personality. Yeah. The blessing of your talent. There's a talent on you, that's why you're a star. Yeah. But what's a talent if it's not blessing me and a whole lot of exactly. other people in exactly. B-Dub? You know what I mean? Exactly, my man. So, my brother, if you didn't take anything from anywhere but from this podcast, take this. Yes, sir. God bless you. Uh, I appreciate it, and man. And keep on keeping on. Please keep on dropping us yeah. with these amazing projects. Of course, of course. May Day, the 1st of April. Tell them what's yeah. happening. Um, <clears throat> the 1st of May... I am Summer is dropping. Uh, it's a ten track album, uh, featuring Vizo yep. uh, and Flaze. I only got two features on it. I really wanted to complete the whole thing by myself. One time, but you know I had to throw my man Vizo in it. Of course, that's my guy. Yeah. Uh, all the tracks produced by Fella and engineered by Fella. Big uh, shout out. Yeah. By May first, you're gonna have it. A lot of people been telling me drop, 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 drop. Because, you know, I've been doing all other kind of crazy shit besides the music. <laughs> I made it up to you. We know about made it. made a classic man. album. This is the best album to ever come out of B-Dub. Best hip-hop album to ever come out of B-Dub since uh, Happy Hour. This is right there with Happy Hour. And uh, Pola Yamut. So all that other noise, all that other bullshit hey, hey. is here today and gone tomorrow. Gone tomorrow. That's our pound cake right there. <laughs> you have a good time at Duma FM? Dropping uh, your thing? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, um, yeah, we dropped the, the first single. Well, it's really like a, a single um, that's accompanying the first single. The first single is called Band Over. Yeah. Uh, the single we dropped uh, for radio is called Saloile. I wrote it for my... Oh. Yeah, Saloile. I wrote it for, for um, anybody who's ever had lost a loved one. Me, I lost my grandfather. So I wrote it for him. But, you know, a lot of people can relate to the record because... You know, we've all lost somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you. Yeah. So look, you know, uh, you gonna look in your camera. I'ma look in my camera. Yeah. The Juice 2.0, right? All right, all right. But thank you so much for stopping by. All right, for sure. You know how much value? You know how much value you've added? The Juice. Oh, well, he's already <laughs> on it. <laughs> you yeah. know how much value you've added to this? 
To the to to, to the juice to point to the juice. And I appreciate Unimaginable. It. Yes, Unimaginable. sir. Yes, sir. No, so, I appreciate it. Thank you for the having juice me. Juice 2.0, that way, not yeah. that way. The juice 2.0, point. cheers. Dang. One time. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of the Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.